Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mr. Pessimist. Today it's not kind of a review video, but rather than a recommendation video for you guys, those who are totally uh, quarantined in your homes and are stuck at home, you are not uh, going out anywhere. I know uh, the world is kind of in a difficult situation, but in such situations, you can still make your mind totally fresh. Uh, even if you are working at home, I hope that you are uh, totally fit and doing well for you guys. So without further delay, uh, I'm going to discuss my top three sitcoms for you, which you can watch during your quarantine and can enjoy some uh, time with yourself and your family members. Um, so without further delay, let's go to my top three recommendation for sitcoms. Let's go. My first recommendation list uh, from my sitcom list is personally my favorite, Young Sheldon. That's still on here. You can watch it in Amazon Prime. That's Young Sheldon. So uh, this sitcom. Okay, first let me tell you what a sitcom is. Sitcom is a, a little version of a drama or a skit. You can rather say it's just. Um, for 30 to 25 minutes, it's around 20 to 35 minutes, around. Like if you going to watch a drama, it's uh, the duration of a drama is minimum about one hour to one and a half hour. So if you are working at home or if you are a student who is studying at home, this is the best genre you can go for it if you are totally into your studies or if you are working at home. So the best way to spend your time rather than playing around you can watch these kind of things and can enhance yourself in every way because sitcoms are not only for um, laughing purpose or funny purpose you can also uh, enjoy with your family and can know many things from it so without further delay let's uh, let's talk about uh, my first recommendation for sitcom my first recommendation for sitcom is uh, young sheldon okay that's in amazon prime now, what is uh, what is the story about Young Sheldon? The Young Sheldon story is all about a, a child who is uh, very intelligent and kind of very precious in its own way. From his childhood, he has been a genius in the field of uh, science and technology. So he is a kind of a blessed person. His uh, mother is totally worried about him that uh, how can he uh, go to college in such an age when he has to um, study in the school but he has passed school and has and uh, will be going to college how he is going to deal um, with uh, much older age people or students uh, in college as usual uh, as usual it is so um, there would be much more bullying his mother is always very much worried about him that he's too much intelligent and how can he live with people uh, around him with uh, big bigger ages around him so his father is tot uh, is not that much worried about him but he is still worried about him so this is the story is all about a little child how he copes with his daily life choirs and uh, how he faces his fears how he faces his difficulties in his daily life to overcome he's kind of a nerd how a nerd becomes a total um, person his journey from a child to a proper nerd so this is all about the story of a young Sheldon it's a very interesting story you can go and watch it it's an Amazon Prime it's a very short version so it's one of my recommendation list and you can go and watch it so my second recommendation is Big Bang Theory it's my personally favorite sitcom that you can go and watch it I think it's also in Amazon Prime you can go and watch it there now uh, my personal recommendation would be if you are going to watch uh, Big Bang Theory then you must watch Young Sheldon first because that's an exaggerated version of uh, Sheldon going from a uh, little stage to the bigger stage that's in Big Bang Theory because the Big Bang Theory is not about uh, Sheldon it's about all the nerds that all the nerds growing up in New York and how they are literally fighting with everyone to get the space inside that city as we know that America America has been a city of very uh, loud 
and rude noisy people around them uh, how they are coping with the daily world around them as they are nerd because they are totally into studies and they don't know anything other than studies and that's it but suddenly a day comes when those nerd meets a hot chick girl living across their building or a room rather than room yeah they live in a kind of a um, flat and across the flat there's another comes an, uh, comes another girl that's totally hot chick sexy kind of a girl who is in a teenage and uh, they meet and two it's kind of two worlds collide because she's from another genre of life and they are from a nerd society nerd world where they just totally their heads to toe are into books and their world changes drastically when they meet her they totally figures out how, they totally figure it out that how the world do, doesn't only revolve around books and studies there are much more world they can explore and enjoy so um, it's a family show it's a it's kind of a family related show uh, yeah there are some cringe content and some um, violence language but it's okay you can watch it and go for it if you want a light hearted person and you want to uh, just explore the genre of uh, dramas if you want to um, If you want to uh, start any kind of drama, I would rather say first start with some sitcom so that you can uh, engross your uh, patience and can uh, enhance your patience. You can watch it clearly. So definitely go for these two sitcoms. These are the best recommendation I am giving you if you are going for any kind of dramas or sitcom. So firstly was the uh, Young Sheldon and second was Big Bang Theory. My third recommended list is. Um, how i met your mother this series is a bit different from the previous two because this drama focuses on how a boy from a middle east city comes to this humongous city nyc and as an as an architecture who is living in his world uh, with his friends kind of uh, mixes into their family how how the friends become their family the story is all about that now the story basically starts with two children of that particular person and the person explaining their his children that how uh, how he met their mother the story revolves around that how he dates all these persons and women that he came across in uh, new york city and how that one lucky woman that got to be her uh, mother got uh, got to be their mother actually sorry got to be their mother so the story evolves around this um, there are family the, uh, how how friends become family how family become four um, again the foes become family the story is all about that you can definitely go for it it's just a short a short kind of a review and also short kind of recommendation uh, this would be it uh, if you want to uh, totally binge watch or quarantine then i would rather say don't do other kind of stuff like gaming and uh, social media stuff try to uh, watch this kind of sitcoms it's not only for fun you can you will be able to learn much more things so this is it my recommendation list uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe like comment if you want to know more about things um, please tell me that what kind of genre should i touch or what are my faults i am open to suggestion i love you world and thank you